How do I set up a Google login for my premium press theme? Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. If we take a look at one of our premium WordPress themes, this is the directory theme, and we click on the sign in or the register page, both options, you'll notice at the bottom we have what we call social login. So as you can see, we have Twitter, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, etc. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Google login option here so that users can log in and register on your website using Google. So the first thing we need to do is log into the admin area and set up and configure our options. We click on the user settings, we scroll down, and the first thing we need to do is turn on social login. So you see this option here, click save settings. Now, once you've enabled social login, you'll notice new options have appeared. So the first thing we need to do is obtain a client ID and a client secret, and those are provided by Google. So to get these two details, we would click on this link here, which will take us directly to Google's signing page. And this gives you a very quick introduction about what Google login is and how to go ahead and obtain this information. What we need to do is log into the Google Cloud account. So we click on the credentials page and this will take you to your Google console. Now what I'm going to do now is show you how to create a new Google setup so you can add it to your website. So the first thing we need to do is click at this top here. We need to add a new project. So we click new project. We go ahead and give it a name. So I'm just going to put Google login test two because I've created a test already. It'll take a few moments for the actual project to be created. So just give it a moment. Once it's created, click select projects or we can do the same thing here. Click from the project to the top, select the newly created project. Now from this page, you need to do two things. Firstly, you need to create and set up your consent screen. So this is this warning message at the top. So we would click consent screen. We go ahead and select what type of setup we're using. So we're using external. So click create. We give it a name. So this is the name of our app that will be displayed on the actual page. In this case, I'm just going to put testing, Google login, select your support email, add a logo if you want. You then go ahead and add on obviously your privacy link, service terms and conditions link, etc. And then you have the option here to authorize the domain. So you need to add domain where it's going to be set up. In this case, we're going to be using premium mod. And then your developer email address. All right, premiumpress.com. This is to send information about your setup if there's any issues. Now this step is quite important. This is where you set up the scopes. What we need to do is allow the email address to be captured when the user logs in so we can create an account for them. So click add a scope. On the left hand side here, we're just going to click the first one, the Google account email address. So we click this, scroll down and click update. Now we can go ahead and save and continue. And we can add a test user. And this is quite important for testing to make sure it works. So click on add new and enter the email address that you have with your Google account so you can test it yourself. Okay, save and continue. And then in summary, you can just see the options you've set up here and go back to the dashboard. Now, once you've completed this setup, we need to go ahead and create some credentials. So we click credentials, we click create credentials, and we select the second one, auth client ID. Now you select the application type, we're gonna be using web application, give it a name if you want, and then you've got two options. You've got a JavaScript originals and an authorized redirect URL. This authorization URL is important. So we click add our URL. We go back to our admin area. Under the options here, it says callback URL. Find the Google one and copy and paste this into this section here. And once you've done that, you'll be presented this with this screen that gives you your client details. So this is your client ID and your client secret key. Copy these and paste them into the corresponding box in the admin area. Now we can go to our website and test. So I can go to my test website. I can click on login with Google. As you can see now, it's instantly logged me in and now I have account set up on my website. So that's how to set up Google login with Premium Press Team.
Now let me quickly run you through some of the debugging options or some issues you might have with setting up your Google account. Let's take a look at one of our test pages. If you get a page like this where it says the link has been broken or you get a 404 error page, this has to do with what we call mod security. So basically when the user is redirected to your website from Google, your hosting account has a security option set up and it's preventing them from accessing the correct page. So if you get anything like this or a 404 page or the user cannot log in, check with your hosting provider because they need to disable um, the mod security options for it to work on your website. So that's one of the most common issues when you've got Google login integrated with your website. The next most common issue, and this is another one, is you have to remember that when you've created a, an account with Google here, it takes time for them to verify your account details and give you access. So if you have not set up a test user, you may need to wait for, other, for the account to be verified by Google before you can actually allow users to log in. And finally, the last issue I've seen in a few user accounts is that they haven't set up billing with Google. Google requires billing to be used on most of the services these days. Make sure you've set up Google billing and the Google options in the admin. We can click on the options here, click on billing, and make sure you've created and set up your billing options here. The project has no billing account. So there we go, a quick introduction to adding Google login to your premium pro team. If you liked this video tutorial, let me know in the links below, give me a like, and I'll keep creating content just like this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.